Ever wondered how the Leopard 2, a titan of military engineering, came into existence? It all started in the ashes of World War II, amidst the palpable tension of the Cold War. As the threat of Soviet armor loomed large, the need for a formidable counterforce became paramount. The answer to this challenge was the Leopard 2. Born from a collaborative effort between West Germany, France and Italy, the Leopard 2 was more than just a tank. It was a beacon of hope, a symbol of strength and a testament to the resolve of the Western powers. Its design and development were aimed at creating a standardized main battle tank for NATO forces, one that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the intimidating T-64 and T-72 tanks of the Soviet Union. However, like all great ventures, the Leopard 2's journey was not without its share of hurdles. Its development was fraught with delays as the team grappled with the complexities of creating a machine that was both powerful and reliable. But these challenges did nothing to dampen the spirit of those involved. If anything, they served only to strengthen their determination. Finally, after years of painstaking work, the Leopard 2 made its grand entrance into service in 1979. It was an event that marked a new era in military engineering, sending a clear message to the world that the West was ready to face any challenge. With its advanced technology, formidable firepower and robust construction, the Leopard 2 was nothing short of a mechanical marvel. Thus, the Leopard 2 roared into life, primed to become the backbone of European armoured forces. What makes the Leopard 2 such a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield, you might ask? Well, it's all about the firepower, and the Leopard 2 is packing quite a punch. The primary weapon of the Leopard 2 is the Rheinmetall Rage 120 smoothbore gun. This is not just any gun, it's a masterpiece of German engineering, renowned for its accuracy and penetration power. It's the kind of weapon that makes enemy tanks think twice before engaging. But what makes the Rage 120 so formidable? It's all about the ammunition it can fire. The Leopard 2 can fire a variety of rounds, but the armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding sabot, or APFSDS, is the real game-changer. This round is capable of defeating even the thickest frontal armor, making the Leopard 2 a threat to any tank on the battlefield. But the Leopard 2 isn't just packing a punch against armored targets. It has a secondary armament designed for anti-infantry and light vehicle defense. This includes a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a roof-mounted 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun. This dual approach to firepower gives the Leopard 2 a versatile edge in combat, allowing it to engage a wide range of threats effectively. You see, the Leopard 2 was designed with power in mind, from its primary Re-H120 gun to its secondary machine guns. It's a tank that doesn't just aim to participate in the battle, it seeks to dominate it. The Leopard 2 is a testament to the precision, power and ingenuity of military engineering. It's a tank that takes the term firepower and gives it a whole new meaning. With such formidable firepower, the Leopard 2 stands as a testament to military precision and power. What does it take to operate this armoured beast? Well, the answer lies in a highly skilled and coordinated crew of four. Each member plays a vital role in maximizing the performance of the Leopard 2. First up is the commander. He's the eyes and ears of the tank, responsible for maintaining situational awareness, acquiring targets and making tactical decisions. His leadership and strategic thinking are key to the crew's success on the battlefield. Next, we have the gunner, the sharpshooter of the crew. He aims and fires the main gun and coaxial machine gun. His precision and timing can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The loader has a physically demanding role. He loads ammunition for the main gun and assists the gunner. His speed and efficiency are crucial in ensuring a steady rate of fire. Finally, the driver navigates the battlefield and ensures the tank's mobility. His ability to maneuver the tank efficiently can often be the deciding factor in combat situations. Together, these four individuals form the well-oiled machine that drives the Leopard 2. How has the Leopard 2 adapted to the changing demands of modern warfare? The Leopard 2 is not a relic of the past, but a predator that has continually evolved to meet the challenges of the modern battlefield. Its ability to adapt is a testament to its enduring relevance and strength. 
The tank has undergone numerous modifications and upgrades throughout its service life, resulting in a diverse array of variants, each bringing significant improvements to the tank's capabilities. The original production model, the Leopard 2A4, featured the Rhine Metal Rach 120 gun and composite armor, a combination that was both powerful and protective. However, the battlefield is an ever-changing environment, and the Leopard 2 was ready to evolve. Enter the Leopard 2A5, an upgrade that introduced improved armor protection and fire control systems. The Leopard 2 wasn't just about raw power, but also about precision and survivability. The evolution didn't stop there. The Leopard 2A6 brought with it a longer-barreled RH120 L55 gun, enhancing the tank's firepower and the ability to engage targets at greater distances. And then came the Leopard 2A7, a variant that further upgraded the tank's armor, electronics and ammunition compatibility. This version ensured that the Leopard 2 remained at the cutting edge of tank technology, ready to face any challenge that the future might hold. These are just a few examples of how the Leopard 2 has evolved over time. Each new variant was a response to a changing world, to new threats and new demands. And each time, the Leopard 2 rose to the challenge, proving that it was more than just a tank. It was, and still is, a symbol of strength, resilience and adaptability. Through continuous evolution, the Leopard 2 remains a formidable adversary on the battlefield. Where has the Leopard 2 proven its worth in real combat scenarios? In the theatre of war, the Leopard 2 has demonstrated its prowess in numerous peacekeeping and combat operations across the globe. Its baptism of fire came in the Kosovo War, where it played a pivotal role in NATO's peacekeeping mission. The Leopard 2's formidable firepower and advanced technology proved invaluable in maintaining order and stability in a region torn apart by conflict. The rugged terrains of Afghanistan bore witness to the Leopard 2's versatility and resilience. Engaged in counterinsurgency operations, the tank's superior mobility and firepower were instrumental in combating the insurgency and safeguarding coalition forces. Its thermal imaging systems provided critical advantage in the harsh conditions, and its mine protection ensured the safety of its crew, even in the face of hidden dangers. The Leopard 2 was also deployed in support of Turkish forces in Syria against ISIS. In the face of an adversary known for its guerrilla warfare, the Leopard 2 held its ground, showcasing its ability to adapt to unconventional warfare scenarios. Its advanced fire control systems and precision weaponry played a decisive role in neutralizing threats and protecting Allied forces. In the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, the Leopard 2 continues to be a force to reckon with. Its advanced technology, including the Rheinmetall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun and thermal imaging systems, continues to provide a decisive edge in the face of escalating tensions. The Leopard 2 continues to make its mark on history, proving its mettle time and again on the front lines. Its legacy is one of strength and resilience, a testament to German engineering excellence and a symbol of power and protection. Whether on peacekeeping missions or in the heat of battle, the Leopard 2 stands as an unwavering sentinel ready to face any challenge that comes its way. What does the Leopard 2 symbolize in the realm of military defense? This isn't just a question, but a quest into the heart of European defence. The Leopard 2 doesn't simply represent a machine of war, it is a symbol of technological prowess, a testament to the relentless pursuit of perfection in German engineering. Yet it goes beyond nuts and bolts. The Leopard 2 embodies battlefield resilience, standing tall amidst the hailstorm of conflict, unyielding and steadfast. It's a tribute to the bravery of those who operate it and the ingenuity of those who've built and refined it over the decades. But perhaps most importantly, the Leopard 2 signifies an unwavering commitment to security. It's the guardian at the gate, the shield against aggression, a beacon of protection in an unpredictable world. Its presence alone is enough to deter, its reputation enough to instill respect. The Leopard 2's enduring service, from the Cold War to the modern era, has carved an indelible legacy. A legacy that continues to grow with each passing year, each new variant, each mission it undertakes. While the battlefield evolves, the Leopard 2 endures, 
a testament to its timeless strength and protection.